here we go. I assume that you clicked on the video title, you already know what I'm looking at. But for those that might have missed it and just ended up here by some miracle, I thank you for watching. This is the 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe. And I'm giving you a look at it. I'm the average guy, car reviewer. And what that means is I review cars from a point of view of somebody who just don't really know about cars. You know, somebody who just walks into a, a dealership and says, I like the way that car looks. Let me sit in it and see what, what it's working with, you know. We don't really know about engines or all those gears, gearhead talks. We just regular consumers. And I'm here for you to give you my take on what I think when I sit in the car because I think we can agree on things when we look at cars. So, I like to look around the cabin when I first start a review and uh, give y'all a shot of what's going on inside. As you can see, we got some gray and some uh, light gray and black and some matte chrome accents along the, the door panels and everything. But this year, in this particular colorway, they kicked up a notch with some obviously fake wood grain trim. You got three different browns, two different grays. Like, well, that's more of like a beige tan. I don't know what that color is in the middle right there. But, you know, it's typical from what I see from Hyundai. And um, for those of you out there that still think that Hyundai is just like garbage, they've shared their reputation. They have really done nice things lately. They have improved their vehicles dramatically. But I got to say, I'm a little disappointed with this one. The design, it don't really stand out to me. It looks pretty plain. Especially when I look at some other vehicles from Hyundai and how they really jazz them up. This looks pretty much just like the 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe. And uh, it's still pretty basic. You know, the center console is nothing overwhelming, nothing fancy. Pretty old school. You know, you got your radio controls, your presets for your radio stations, your climate controls. It's real simple, so you don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of new vehicles throw a lot of tech at you. You know, this is probably a base trim, so it's real easy to work with. They still include a CD player. Some cars are actually cutting out CD players and only giving you MP3 iPod players. You know, maybe if you step up the trim, you'll get a touch screen in this Santa Fe. But this is basic, so if you don't want to deal with that, you should be comfortable. Down here is where you got your charger for your phone and your... You probably can't see it. There it is. Your auxiliary and iPod connections. That's pretty standard in cars these days. But, uh... Other than that, there's really nothing all that different about it compared to last year. Or nothing that makes it stand out from the competition. Especially from things like the Ford Edge, which is probably my favorite SUV right now in this size. Or the Jeep Grand Cherokee. But you do have volume controls for your radio on the wheel, Bluetooth, cruise. It's all here. All the basic stuff that's pretty much, if they don't include it these days, I wouldn't even look at purchasing the vehicle no matter what mile it is. Because you're getting ripped off. The, uh... Instrument cluster is pretty basic, nothing digital except the trip information in the middle that shows your fuel economy. You know, when you go through different screens, it tells you when you need service. You can set things on your vehicle by pushing this button down here on the wheel to go through the menus. So, if you don't want to deal with all those fancy things that other cars throw at you, you might feel comfortable in this. On the door, nothing fancy power windows, power locks, and your side mirror controls, the usual stuff. So, like I said, it's pretty plain, you know, you got this little compartment up here, I guess you could maybe throw your phone in there, I don't know. You know, lay your phone out of view, whatever you want to use that for. And that's about all the bells and whistles you get, except for the sunglass holder up top and your door illumination controls, you know, you can set how you want your interior lights to operate. Standard gear shift down here, nothing fancy. I guess in maybe fancier models, you'll get buttons in these blank compartments usually in base trims if you see these things that means you're missing out on features because you you didn't want to pay for them no big deal we all not rich I know I'm not in the armrest nothing fancy at all nothing not even a, a another uh, 12 volt charger that I'm used to seeing in other models so real basic just a deep uh, compartment to hold things and a change holder or whatever you want to call this up top right here so yeah Nothing really going on. The seats are like a tough cloth material. Real, it's not really, really soft, but it's it's sturdy, and uh, it, they're pretty comfortable. Hopefully that material doesn't hold stains, but nothing plush with these seats. A lot of uh, this is like a soft, semi-soft material, but a lot of plastics in the. 
Hyundai Santa Fe. This is like a rubberized plastic. So it's not too cheap feeling, but that's okay. Plastic all in the door, hollow sounding. And a little, um, ignore that chicken crumb down there. You know your boy gets down on the road. But uh, this is uh, the only soft material. This little bit of lining right here on the door panel. I'm trying to focus my camera for y'all. Let's look at the roof. Over here you got active echo mode. Your illumination controls for the panel up here. Traction controls and that's about it. And the fuel release is ducked off down here on the door. Kind of like that they didn't put it at the bottom. A lot of times they throw it down there. But this is a nice little spot for it. You pop your fuel tank from the inside. So let me hop in the back and uh, you know give you a taste of the back leg room and see the center console shot that I'm known for. You know how I do it. Let's go. Leg room is cool. I can stretch my legs. I got a lot of room. Door is about the same back here. You only have window controls for the passenger. And you have another 12 volt charger back here. No vents though for climate controls for the passengers. No no vents back here. And uh, nothing else really to see in the back. Except your little magazine holders. I think certain models of the Santa Fe have a third row. No, you know what I, th I think I'm thinking about the Kia Sorento that has a third row. But uh, you do have this fold down compartment and they don't even give you a cup holder. In it. Well, am I wrong? Oh, there it is. Okay. Pop that in and it slides out. I was about to say, they don't even put a cup holder at the back here, but you get a I kind of like this design, you know, usually they throw the cup holders right in here, but they give you an actual armrest and a space for your cups. That's cool. And there's your room in the back compartment. Pretty nice. And, you know, you can store things back there. Not the roomiest back cabin, but it looks like there's another uh, charger back there, another 12 volt. You got it in focus? There you go. A 12 volt charger and uh, I'm sure you can lay these seats down and create more room so here it is the center console shot like I said nothing too fancy pretty basic not bad looking just I would I would personally like a little more pizzazz you're looking a little outdated Hyundai you gotta do something you're getting left behind Think it's a need for a refresh on this interior. My bad, Hyundai, my bad. As I was about to get out, I noticed that there are vents for the cli climate in the rear. They're just along the door panel. Not used to seeing them over here. So you can adjust it for the rear passengers. It's on both sides. Didn't want to leave that out. I knocked y'all for that, but I was wrong. Y'all just hit them, blending them in. Nice. Got it on the road here, and uh, I'm feeling kind of conflicted because it is a smooth ride, you know? And uh, it feels light on its feet. It's just lacking power. Uh, it really shows it's like a power when you give it some gas. You know, you hear that? The engine takes a good while to get up to speed. That's a little disappointing. And, you know, it feels light, but at the same time, I use the term hollow to describe it because I don't know how else to describe a car like this. It feels like, you know, it just doesn't feel solid. I don't know how else to, how else to describe it. It feels it feels like, you know, if you got in a, in a collision, the vehicle would take most of the damage. I could be wrong. It could just be a real light feeling vehicle, but you know, the, the shocks and tires absorb the bumps nicely. It just doesn't feel as sturdy as what I'm used to from other SUVs. So, yeah, a major lack of power in the engine. But other than that, it's a smooth ride. The wheel handles nicely. And, uh, I don't know. I just, I guess I expected a little more. Especially in the 2016 version of the Santa Fe, I expect the Hyundai to kind of do a little more with it. It just looks terribly, terribly plain on the inside, and it still feels a little cheap. But you know, it is roomy, and uh, 
It gives you more space and you sit up higher than you would in a car. But the drive is nothing to write home about. It's just uh, point A to point B. Nothing really stands out. Get in focus, boy. There we go. So now that I gave y'all a look at the details, a quick look at the features of what this trim and model is packing, what do I think about it? What's my score on it? Well, I think as far as standard SUVs, it's right there in the middle of the pack. You probably won't pay a lot of money for this. You shouldn't pay a lot of money for it. So if you need space and you like SUVs, I think this is, and you don't have a lot of money to blow, I think this is what you want to look at. I think this is right up your alley. It's smack dead in the middle of the pack. So with that being said, I think this vehicle deserves a solid three out of five. Not, it's not a trashy three out of five. Three out of five is average. I'm average, you know, I'm an average reviewer. Probably below average actually, <laughs> based on the comment section. Y'all keep commenting, I like read, I read all the comments. I might not reply to them because I just don't like starting arguments or getting involved in the arguments. But hey, I read how much I suck. So your point is being taken. Anyway, it's a solid three out of five. I think this is an SUV for somebody who wants space but doesn't want to spend a lot of money. So you'll probably find a good deal on the 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe. And uh, if this is good enough for you, you just more focus on space and getting the point A to point B, then hey, check it out. Anyway, the Average Car View Guy is signing out. I'll catch you on the next review. Thanks for watching.